In this gemstone transformation, we're looking at a large, orangish, pinkish, brownish sapphire. Now, as the stone came to us, it was already preformed in a pear shape of 23.6 carats, but the customer didn't like the orientation of the preform. We noticed that when we look down the long way of the stone, we can see a much better oranger, redder, pinker color than the brownish orangish color that is face up. So the customer asked us to provide some different options. He wanted to know how big the stone might be for the best weight. He also wanted to have an idea about what the color might be if we were to split the stone in half and face the stones down the long way, sacrificing the weight but pulling out the best color from this stone. We were able to generate a few different computer models based on our measurements and what we thought the color would look like. So this is what we came up with for our final estimates. We thought we could do a 5 carat square Asher cut and a 1.2 carat trillion cut. From our visual estimation, the color was going to be pinkish, orangish, with a much better, more vibrant, more saturated tone with much less brown. The customer approved this plan, and we went to work sawing the stone in half. Once the stone was split in two, we could look at each piece individually. We could see what this new rough weight was, and figure out where the best color was, where the best table was going to be. And luckily, we didn't have any surprises. Our plan went exactly as we hoped. We put the tables exactly where we estimated they would go once we split the stone. And so now we begin cutting. We started with the bigger stone and the first step is planning. So we're looking at the inclusions, we're looking at the shape, we're looking at the rough skin and figuring out exactly how we're going to shape the stone in order to make the execution of the perfect cut. Now we planned to do this as a square Asher cut, but it turned out once we started to get into the preform, we're actually able to make a longer, heavier stone. So we ended up going with a standard emerald cut. The emerald cut has three steps on top, four steps on the bottom, and we gave it an immaculate polish. Now for the second stone, the trillion. This was made out of what was once the tip of the pear. So we had a lot of extra material in this piece. We knew we were gonna lose a bit more in this stone. So we started to do our rough preforming just to get all the rough skin off. Then we took it to the fine preforming and really set our shape. And as you can see, this stone is still quite deep. Now for the cutting process, we went through all the facets on the top, the bottom, as well as the polishing in order to finish the second stone. And now, as you can see, no hint of brown, one a rich red, the other a rich orange, a slight hint of pinkish peach, and the scintillation, the color, the light return are all beautiful. We got great yields on both of the stones, and we actually surpassed our own expectations. As you can see, the emerald cut lost about 12 carats going from the split weight into the final polished stone. And for the trillion, as I said, we lost a little bit more because we had such a deep pavilion. We just couldn't utilize that much of the stone. So we ended up getting a little bit lower of a yield for this stone. So going back to that original pear preform shape, by splitting the stone in half, and fastening them individually, we were able to get a yield of 31.6%, which is still very respectable considering that we had to cut the stone in half. However, the color that we got is so much better than the original pear shape with the brown overtones. We estimated if we would have made the stone as big as it possibly could have been, we would have got something around 8.5 carats with an orangey brown tone. And instead we got 7.45 carats with a reddish, orangish, pinkish tone and we actually got 10% better yield than what we had estimated for these two stones having been split in half. All in all, a very satisfying experience here at Magus Gems.